Andrew Wu. Thank you. We spent a lot of time talking about sanctions, and uh, this, this discussion illustrates how labyrinthine the whole process is. But the vast majority of countries in the world don't favor autonomous sanctions. I, perhaps you disagree with me, but I, I want to get your reaction to that. Have we had a serious think about the perspectives of the vast majority of the world who don't favor autonomous sanctions and whether there's some there's some moderation, if I can put it that way, to to our our zeal to really keep ramping up our sanctions regi regime, which, as one of the previous witnesses has said, has a certain uh, self-reinforcing mechanism to it. It, it. Once you've got a tool, you're going to use it. Uh, do, do you worry at all that uh, we're being uh, in a bit of a vortex, talking to ourselves and, and being wrapped up in how we want to do this better when may, maybe this is not the direction we should go in? Uh, so I am of the view that Canada should always operate with allies when we are sanctioning. Having said that, the reason that we have an autonomous sanction, san autonomous sanctions laws is because it's very difficult and challenging to get the UN to move. And so we all have our own separate laws, but I am of the view that Canada should not be operating unilaterally in the international space, that we should be acting together with uh, allies, ideally more than one. For the most part, that is exactly what happens in Canada. It is extremely rare that we move ahead with a particular country with no one else. And we've had uh, provisions in SEMA for a long time that enable us to work together with other countries. So I certainly hear what you're saying, Senator, and I think that we should always be careful about the use of sanctions. Uh, I am of the view that we should be doing that together with allies in a, in a coordinated way. Professor Sharon? So, so I'll just add that, you know, autonomous sanctions is relatively new. We had the SEMA in 1992 because the Organization of American States to which we belonged was going to put in place sanctions against Haiti, and we didn't have a mechanism to do that. I think in a lot of cases, there are many states that just don't have that mechanism yet. But it also speaks to the wider um, direction we're going, where it's democracies versus autocracies and, and leaving out everybody in the middle. And I, I, we, we, you're absolutely right. We do have to be careful about this. And especially if we start saying you're either with us or against us, um, there are very practical reasons why lots of states may not be participating, A, because they don't know what the retaliatory uh, measures will be against them if they decide one way or the other because they don't have the legislation because they have much bigger problems to worry about rather than sanctions that they know will not have great effect because they're you know maybe a smaller country so I, I think this is going to be the big question foreign policy question for Canada and western and the west going forward <laughs> 